little music, a little pouring reunited. I like it. It's understood. <laughs> uh, my man Will is back in the house. Do you know what drinks you're going to serve at your Super Bowl party? Well, first I have to have a Super Bowl party. Uh, Will the <laughs> Wine Guy is back. Where have you been? Uh, is back with some cocktail ideas based on obviously the teams. Sure. Hello, Will. Hello, Raul. It's good to see How you. How are we you? We get something in our hands. Look a toast here pretty are, soon. Are you excited we? for these Niners? Are you here? Is that your t- uh, I'm a Raider guy. You know, I always yeah, have been. Okay. But, you know, I'm from the Bay, so. You're in Vegas. No, okay. I like the Niners. Uh, let's get right to this. We don't want to mess around. Yeah. We have a suggested drink for 49ers fan. Yes. Tell us what it is. Give me a little play-by-play and why this specific. So a lot of drinks come from San Francisco. Okay. Uh, last time we did a segment like this was a few years ago. It was the same two teams. <laughs> we that was, did. That was 2020. That's right. Yeah, That's right. it was the Kansas City Cooler we did. And yeah. then we did uh, an Irish coffee, yes. which comes from San Francisco as awesome. well. But a lot of people don't realize that the martini actually comes oh. from San Francisco. A lot of people think it comes from London or that sort of thing. I think James it Bond comes from, and it comes from San Francisco. It's named after after uh, Martinez, the uh, my cousin. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Get out of here, my cousin. The Martinez Ferry that used to go across in the mid to late 1800s, okay. and they made it in the Occidental Hotel in downtown San Francisco. And so we're gonna make one of those. Let's go. So what I'm do we gonna have here? you do the garnish, okay? So oh. we're gonna do a traditional. Now you know Martinis. All I do is the garnish, yeah. The, <laughs> the names have been uh, bastardized a little bit, right? Because they like fruit juices and all that stuff. So okay. we're doing a traditional martini. This is a traditional martini. Yes. Okay. So the the thing is with a with a martini, if you're serving these for your cocktail, uh, for your drink, your Super Bowl drinks, okay. you probably don't want to drink these the whole Super Bowl. Let's no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. no. If you're sitting there with a bunch of martinis. Yeah, that's maybe it. start with a martini yeah. and uh, move on to something. How many ounces Like three? So about three ounces, yeah. London dry gin. And then we're going to do a little bit oh go of dry vermouth. <laughs> now, dry vermouth is essentially um, just a fortified wine. Yes. Right? So it's kind of, it's in the same family as like port and sherry right. and that sort of thing. So then, what we're oh going to do, we're going to mix Here this up. Here we go. Give best. it a little mix. Now, you can go ahead and throw the uh, olives in there if okay. you'd like. Uh, just right. one olive? Oh, it depends. Uh, now, I like two to three olives myself, but that's up yeah, to you, bro. I don't two. know if you like uh, olives what or not. What do you think? How did I do? Oh, it's perfect. Yes, I'm ready. Throw it in there. Okay. Okay. I feel like Here I'm helping. Here we go. You are helping. Look at that. Throw it in you there. You want an olive? Here we go. You should, I'll throw one at you right now. Look at all those producers are hungry over there. there you are go. you ready? So throw your now, olives do I, in. Do I throw it? Do I dunk it? Or do I gently lay it? I would gently lay it. But you know what? Bro, nobody tells you what to do. We know that. <laughs> right. ah, that's so, so not go. true. Uh, well. Okay. No, your wife does, but you know. Yeah, well, be honest. Uh, okay, do I sip now? <laughs> yeah, give it a little sip. Here we go. So here's the thing, dry vermouth, a lot of people don't like it in their martini because the vermouth that they have is um, is left out. And so it's a wine that oxidizes Whoa. essentially and gets yeah, kind of ugh. Yeah, that's why you only have one of those at the beginning of the game. <laughs> and then move on to something much lighter. Bless after. her heart, my mom used to love her martinis, boy. Oh yeah, martinis yeah, are man. fantastic. Love those martinis. Okay, Okay. so now, now. This is the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City cocktail that we're yes. gonna do. Now there's a Kansas City oh, uh, ice water right. that we did before. <laughs> that is not this. This whole time, I had to, yeah. they worked really <laughs> hard to do the football <laughs> logo cards and I had yeah. it the wrong way. <laughs> they can read it. <laughs> um, so anyways, we're going to do what's called a horse okay. feather. I'm sorry? Right? Horse feather. Horse feather. Yes. So the thing what I like that? about these mason jars is oh, they, like have the the little, yeah. they have the little uh, lines on them. Yeah. So you don't even need, you don't need to do anything. Oh, pre measure. Kind of, yeah. That's for guys like me, like, you know. That's right. And then we're going to do a little ginger beer. So Love ginger beer. That's the best. So yep. this is essentially like a Moscow mule. Sure. But with rye whiskey instead. Wow. Right? So oh, we'll make do a that. Moscow. Here we yeah. go, and then we have a little bit of bitters. You always have to do the bitters. I mean, no right? offense to the martini, but I'm more of a. This seems like more uh, uh, my alley. <laughs> well, it sounds like you're gonna be rooting for the Chiefs then. Right? I think I got the Chiefs in this. Yeah. One. Sorry, you Jeff. Go. You wanna get over here and try this martini? <laughs> <laughs> that producer Jeff over there been yeah. dressing like a Niners fan for like three weeks. I know. He's got with the pom poms and everything. Man. I'm on stuff for the guy's got all the gear. Okay. Okay. So, so that go was ahead. Simple. We'll give this a little bit of squeeze in here. So yeah, we please. had basically rye. Rye, whiskey, ginger beer, a okay. little bit of bitters, and then we threw a lemon on top. So I right. think you're gonna like Here this. Here we one. go. Ready? Yes. And yes. you can definitely have you can have one or two of these. It's okay. Go Chiefs! Oh wow. Is that who we're rooting for uh, in this particular? Oh yeah. Segment? Oh absolutely. <laughs> Based off of the drinks, Listen, he's going Chiefs. I, am, <laughs> I, I, I love my, uh, martinis are fine, but it's just not. It's a here, uh, where is our Niners fan? Yeah, there's many jokes about how many martinis they have. We're not going to tell any this of those This is right our now, resident Niners fan. Oh, Mr. look at that. 
Producer here Jeff. Is. Here we go. You yes. enjoy. Cheers to From you. From downtown San Francisco. Uh, by the way, what, what, give me a good wine. You are the wine guy, so a good wine for yeah. like uh, Super Bowl snacks. So you want to have wine out, obviously, for people that uh, are going to be coming over. You want to do something cold. Do a cold uh, white wine. It's going to okay. go with almost anything, right? Like a Riesling would be fun. Oh, but, you know, yes. Chardonnay, any of that stuff. And then yes. always put Cabernet out yes. in case somebody oh. likes red wine. Listen, I know somebody Cooper, likes that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Cooper Craft Wines in Oceanside. You got to go check it out. This guy's there. They have live music seven yes. nights a week, six to nine. It's dog friendly. A great hang. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. You know. Oh, man. I got to make myself one of these. You stole my... Uh, <laughs> Go Chiefs! We'll be right back. Well, the wine guy, everybody. Hello. And producer Jeff, who likes the Niners. <laughs> <laughs>